Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Classic and our uh, Season of Discovery Undead Warlock. Sorry, I almost got uh, said hardcore there. Uh, welcome back to the channel guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending a few moments of your day with me. Uh, we made the run over to the wetlands, so we're at the bottom of the um, uh, Dunal Gaz Gauntlet. Uh, we're going to have to run up the Dunal Gaz Gauntlet into Loch Modan so we can work on our sleeping bag quest. So we're going to continue that today. Um, I did get it on my Dwarf Hunter, so I know what to do after this part. I know exactly where to jump. And uh, yeah, we're going to get this done today. So uh, we're going to have to fight our way up through here, or we're just going to have to fear and let Thokmoth uh, aggro the mobs, or the uh, NPCs. We're probably going to die a few times, have to make a few death runs, but we are going to get this uh, sleeping bag today. So let's get it done. What I've learned is it's best to go in on the back side of the lock so come out on this side and then run in because it's on that side and there's there's a few less mobs on that side which is good so my goal is just to run out there fear and just jump onto the ledge and then hopefully we won't die um we may die a few times though we'll see if they stun us we're probably definitely going to die there's a good chance of that on the road dude you know I mean, I'll stay on the road huh that's where normally they're up in the hills they're not on the road I also stopped in Arathi Highlands at Hammerfall and picked up the flight quest there, so or flight path. Um, so in the future, when we go to quest in Arathi, we'll have that flight path. And this guy's on the middle of the road too. Jeez. Now's when it gets interesting. Here's our first dude. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I didn't even resist my fear, that's perfect. Let's just run for MacTaz. <clears throat> Here's another one. up here to the top of the hill. Oh, shit, there's another one. Damn. And, of course, he ran the same way I'm going. I have to fear him again. I said it's back to his I was thinking of our human warlock we were playing yesterday. There's another guy. Two of them. Well, fear works. Just get away from this guy and I'll resummon Thokmoth. I do have my soul stone up. We may have to get another one. We we'll use another one. We'll see. Dude, how far are you going to chase me? All right, let's get Thoughtbomb back out. When we head back to Terran Mill, I need to um, load up on food and water. No, oh, I've got more. I've got that. I need water, though. I'm only down to 15 water. All right, yeah, so here we're going to swim across, come in this side, and then jump on the ledge. I 
I would go from this side, but I counted yesterday there's eight mobs we have to fear between here and where we have to jump. So I think it's easier to go in from the other side. Okay, here we go. This will be hard with any other um, character that doesn't have fear. All right, here we go. Right here's where we got to jump. And we got it. Look at this. Sweet. Now back to the iron mill. <clears throat> that wasn't too hard, guys. I thought I was going to die there a few times, but that actually worked really well. Yeah, if I'd come from this direction, there was like eight guys you had to fight. That way, there's only one, so that's good. Perfect. All right, let's turn PvP off. That way, that, that goes away. And then we'll have to run over here and collect the sleeping bag. So it's right here is where we have to go, or well, right here. But I know how to get up there. Okay, I'll start another soul stone up because there's only three left. We'll kill some bears along the way. There's a lot of bears between here and there. Bears and spiders.
After this, we're going to work on uh, go over here. The hill spread. Uh, well, we could do it here, I guess. But we're going to have, we need to go over here anyways. Got to work on the peasants, some Wilks. Start killing some of these guys over here in the uh, Hillsbrad Farms. All right, bear. Spider. That was pretty interesting that Questy ha already had this on them on their uh, database whenever uh, say, uh, Phase Two launched. So I'm actually kind of surprised because it shows you exactly where to go. The whole quest line, which is pretty cool. Okay, so here we have to jump. Basically, just run up this cart. Whoops too far there. Ah, uh, come on now. I did this on my Dwarf Hunter, no problem. Ah, dang it, I keep jumping off there. I don't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. I know this is doable because I did it. There we go. And then from there, it's up this side. Up these rocks here. There we go. And now onto here. Alright, we got it. <clears throat> There's some books up here you can read. This. And here it is. Yay, we got it. Right, we're going to sleep for three minutes, and then we're going to go a quest. So what you do is basically throw the bag down, and you have to walk into it. There it is. There we go. Now we're going to sleep for three minutes. So I'm going to pause it, and we'll start it back up in three minutes. All right, guys. Welcome back. Um, so this is what it looks like whenever you get the well-rested. It's got a little uh, coffee cup here, and it says... If you sleep for three minutes, it's got a little three right here, and then it's good for two hours. The sleeping bag is three hours, so you have to wait an hour in between, but it continues to count down even if you log out. So that's nice. Um, so you're not actually losing anything. So if you play for two hours, you still got the buff on, and you can you know, log off for an hour, and you can have the sleeping bag back. So I know 3% is not a lot, but hey, it's now right now we're getting 203% of XP, so let's, let's do it. All right, let's go over and work on the Battle of Hills, Brad. Again, uh, hopefully there's not a ton of people up here today. And then we also have to go down here to the mine and get the uh, the guy in the mine too. So let's do it. <clears throat> I forgot to buy more water, but probably should have done that. Maybe we'll stop by Terran Mill real quick and load up on water. I don't know what this does. It says eat a handful and make up for lost time on the trail. Like, if you eat it, watch. You get a little, you get this little thing pop up, but you get no benefit from it. And it's got a 30 minute cooldown for, for whatever reason. I don't understand that. That's just weird.
have eight runes. I need to work on getting the other, the rest of the runes from uh, the first phase one. Cause you only have eight so far. I know one of them, like Metamorphosis, is going to take forever. Um, and then a couple of them. Like one, you have to do the shredder parts, and that one takes forever. It's crazy expensive. If you're not an engineer. Rest your weary bones for a spell. No, I don't want to do that. I want to browse. Rest goods. your weary bones for a spell. All right, there we go. Now we're topped off on water. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and sell a couple things while we're here. Sell that. Delete this. Inventory. Put that down here. Okay, Dark let's go. Oh, good. Our PvP mark went off, so that's good. Our PvP flag, not mark. Tunic, probably for the auction house. I sold that wand because that wand's not going to sell on the auction house very well. I mean, it, people get better wands from questing, so I feel like it was it was it really wasn't worth holding on to. Sorry guys, I know it's a lot of running this morning, but just gotta run to get there. Until we hit 40, then we get our mount. There's nobody here this morning, and then last time we were here, this place was packed. Seriously. Mactaz can hold the aggro, or Mactaz, I keep saying Mactaz. Uh, if Bakmoth can hold the aggro, it'd be fine. I thought the guy didn't drop a skull either. I really need this peasant. Very 
I knew that was going to happen. I was going to pull both of them. Quick. Now see, I killed him within five seconds and he did not give me a soul shard back. At least I thought I did. I know he turned to run, but... Fifteen peasants. Yeah, there's nobody here this morning. You saw what it looked like the last time we were here, guys. I mean, this place was packed. Everything was dying. But now everybody's leveled up to 40, and it's like, well, you know, here we are. Some of us still leveling. Some of us don't have all day to play like some people do. All work and life. Two levels higher than we were the last time we were here, too, so that makes a difference. There's somebody else here. Druid. Let's get rid of this, open this back up. There we go. The clerk is inside the town hall and he's really hard to get to. <clears throat>
Yeah, this guy's working on peasants as well. Yeah, see, it shows the <coughs> human skulls everywhere. We could just kill all these guys and collect the skulls. I guess we probably need to do that. I'm trying to focus on just the guys. Oh, there's still some Wilks. We need him, too. So we can get over here and grab him before he disappears. Or somebody else kills him. He's down. Okay, good. Uh, we need Miner Hackett. He's in the mine, and then the clerk, like I said, is in here. I think. Yeah. Right there he is. Yeah, he's inside here, and he's going to be hard to get to. About aggroing everything. Gotta watch the councilmen because they are casters. They are a pain in the butt. These guys take some hits, man. Damn it, see, I pulled that one. Damn it. I'm running. Not nah, playing that game. I know how well I know how this goes. It sucks. Doing this on hardcore is insane. I probably wouldn't even come here till probably level 30 in hardcore. At least. Way too difficult. These guys are everywhere, so you could pull you could pull a group in a matter of seconds. I mean, you saw what I just did. I just pulled three footmen and a, a councilwoman, councilman, whatever. I bet this guy's working on farmers. But man, he may be doing skulls. We'll try to sneak around the corner into the uh, into the town hall here. Let's let him get out of the way. Then we'll go in. Oh, no. Nope. He's going to stand outside.
shit. Not me to pull that peasant. Yeah, see, that guy was walking away, and all of a sudden he turns and comes back to me. Great, I'm gonna pull more. This area is so freaking difficult to solo. Oh, come on, dude. He had to run around the corner, then cast it, and it still hit me. Quickly, the um, the footman at the first, at the door is going to respawn. Uh, that's what I was trying to do: is take out the footman at the door so we could get in there. What's this councilman here? Let's try not to pull him this time. Okay. Ooh. Thank goodness he didn't run in the uh, other room there. See, I've got two in here. In that corner. Go after the councilman first. Shit, I pulled another one around the corner. Now see, how, how did I get the aggro? He went around the corner and I got the aggro. That's the clerk we need. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. So stupid. I'm dead. Wow, that did, it did a lot. Yeah, that hellstone did a lot. Well, guys, I may have to come back here later. We can work on the peasants and the, the skulls. Yeah, those guys aggroed around the door and came to came to attack me when Mac when uh, Thokmoth went in to get them. Like I don't understand that. Like why do they attack me? They should have attacked him. <coughs> Excuse me. Tickled my throat this morning. All right, peasants it is. I pulled the farmer too. Yep, I knew I was going to. Damn it. Man, these guys run at like 25% life. I'm going to pull everything again. Wow. I didn't pull those other guys. He was not even near that farmer. He was walking away from it. Yeah, somehow I pulled it.
I need some uh, soul shards. Jeez, I didn't realize I was down to two already. Sometimes when Shadow Burn doesn't kill them, I mean, it just it, it eats them, and I forget that. Or if I don't kill them within five seconds, I don't get the soul shard back. They run at 25% life. I pulled another one. One more peasant, and then we need a lot more skulls. Like I said before, we may we may have to come back for the clerk. She just he's just too hard to pull out of there. Finish the peasants. Maybe we'll go down to the mine and we'll work on the mine. Try to get uh, miner and hack it. I know I'm going to pull both these guys. Oh no, I didn't. Wow. Sweet. There's those guys. Let's go down to the mine. Try to work on that. We can collect skulls down there, too. That's below me. I was like, I hear somebody mining. They're below me. Funny how you can hear it. Uh, I should not have cast that when I did. Yeah, these guys are a little harder down here. I knew that. I just forgot it. <laughs> I took three shadow bolts. Jeez. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Dude, how did I pull the... Oh, shit. I can take him one at a time, but I can't take three at a time. I need you, buddy. Yeah, about well, I hit hit Shadow Burn too early there. Man, I'm drinking like crazy today. Takes so much to take these guys down. I'm burning through some mana. Yeah, there's happened to be another guy around the corner the last time, too. Which wasn't good. have some help. Alright, back up on soul shards. Actually, I think we have to come to the mine next and kill these guys. I feel like I've got a quest to kill the foreman and miners. After the peasants. Or maybe, yeah, I think I do. Yep, another one. So maybe we go turn this in and then we'll uh, we'll come back later until the mine. I'm almost positive we have to come back down here. So I've done this before. I've, I've come here and killed a miner and then realized, hey, I have to come back and do it anyway, again anyway. Okay, yeah, let's go turn uh, Let's go turn Battle of Hillsbride in. Well, we need the skulls, though. We'll kill the farmers. Let's go back up here and kill the farmers and stuff. Because I'm almost positive we have to come back and kill the miners. Let me look it up really quick. that one. Okay, kill the peasants. Next is the blacksmith and blacksmith's apprentices. Then the magistrate and five town and nine councilmen. Foreman, bonds, and miners. Yeah, we do have to come back here later. Okay. Okay, yep, we gotta come back here later. So let's just go back up here. We'll work on the we'll work on the skulls, on these easier guys. We're we're not fighting level twenty seven to twenty eights. Cause these guys are tough. Take a lot of hits.
We also have Stone Talon we can work on. Um, Silver Pine, we're about to out-level. The Barons, if we can go back there and work on the Dwarves. Blacksmith's right here. He's not hard to get. Now, the councilmen, those guys are tough. Like I said, they're before the miners. Oh, crap, I hit that too early. They're before the miners. I uh, pulled all three of them. How did I pull all three of them? Oh my gosh, come on. That peasant was out there by himself. He should not have pulled those other two. But somehow they do. I need to back, back, back over to Thunder Bluff as well and turn that Melor quest in. I thought I could get him by himself. There's a nice crit on Shadowburn. Nice, he hit, he hit me, but I wasn't casting anything at the time. Oh, I pulled the farmer too, that's okay. We'll get him. Not get the line of grace there. We're only halfway there on skulls. It's going to be a while. But hey, XP's XP. That was close. Almost missed that skull or uh, soul shard. Getting it back. No 
Most footmen take a beating now. Crit on both, nice. All right, 10 more skulls. There's Parma Kalaba again. I think this dangerous quest is supposed to like span multiple levels, which is why you get all these other quests on top of it. Pearl class cloaks, I think I have that. I do. These small, lustrous pearls. I like it when I get uh, the boxes I can actually do myself. Or on another character. But I don't have any characters in this server to do them on. It's just, this is, I have this one in my shaman, and that's really it. I started a warrior, but he's only level 5. My shaman is herbalism and alchemy. All right, guys, I think it's time to make the run back to, uh, back to Terran Mill. We're at 56 minutes now. By the time we get back, it'll be time to log off. I'll be happy to run Scarlet Monastery soon. Is that level 30, I think? Yeah, 34, okay. I think Graveyard, you can start running it at 31, but it's 
those guys are pretty tough. What can I help you with? I'll hold on to this. So that, that, that. Hold on to the letter. For the whole. <laughs> Alright, here he is, Battle of Hillsbread. Speak quickly. The grip Pick of death the next is one? tightening around the town of Hillsbrad. The battle right. goes well. The humans of Hillsbrad have been putting up Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. We'll pick it up right here tomorrow with more Season of Discovery. And until we meet again, guys, hope everyone has a great day. We Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time. Your mission will be to